What's up guys? Welcome to That Creative Life. It's me, James Mathis. Today we are going to talk about the 1981 Inventions DRV drive pedal. It is made by Matthew Hoops, who is the lead guitarist of Reliant K, personal hero of mine. I've been a diehard Reliant K fan for many, 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 many years. Um, and I've always loved the sound of their guitars and the way that they had those driving lines in their music. And it's just, that's a side note, Reliant K is fantastic. If you've not heard of them, check them out. Incredible pop punk band. But Matthew Hoops has put out a drive pedal called the 1981 and it, it was huge when it first came out and everybody was talking about it and it's still one of the most popular pedals that you'll see out there today as far as like boutique drives go but I wanted to come on here and talk about it in a slightly different way than what I've maybe seen before so we're going to talk about it in the context of using it with different amps inside of the HX Stomp. So we're going to start with a very clean Fender Princeton style sound and we're going to see how this pedal interacts with that particular amp model. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my clean tone first and we're going to go through a few different options and then we're going to switch amps and then we're going to talk about it at the end. So here's my clean tone. Nice Fender E clean. It's a Princeton. I'm running it through Princeton 1x12 and a Princeton 1x10. Nothing else going on other than a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay. Now this is what it sounds like with the 1981 with the drive about that way at about I would say 10 o'clock and I will try to cut in some pictures of where I have it set but right now my cut is a little bit lower than 10 and then my volume is at about 2 almost 3 o'clock So the other thing I want to check with is how does it stack with another style of overdrive pedal. And so I have queued up the Minotaur, which is the Con Centaur, inside of the HX Stomp. So here is clean again. Here is with the Minotaur. So like edge of breakup, fender sound. And then putting on the 1981. I think it sounds great. I think it's a very versatile effect, especially with Fender amps. But let's switch now to a Vox, and we're gonna do a Vox at the edge of breakup, which is where most people run a Vox amp. If you dig in, it starts to break up a little bit. Just a good standard Vox sound. This is what it sounds like with just the 1981. And I'm running through a Silver Bell. I'm running through a silver bell and I'm running through a blue bell. Okay, now let's see how it stacks in the box with that Minotaur again, which is the Quan. Okay, so let's move on now to the Marshall. And don't worry, we're gonna come back and talk about this in a little more detail, but. This is with a Marshall that's slightly gainy. So this is the, the straight Marshall without any gain from pedals. I think, it, I think it's the plexi setting, but let's add the 1981. Now let's add the 1981 and the Quan. Super gaining and wants to feed back. So that's what it sounds like with those. Now I'm going to move on to the last one I have programmed in here, which is a high watt. The only reason I have it is because it's just a straight clean amp. And what I want to do now is I want to take you through the different settings on the DRV, and we're going to start with gain all the way to zero, then max out, cut at zero, max out. And we're not really going to mess with the volume, even though it is a preamp with a rat pedal, is kind of how it works. I'm gonna kind of leave the volume similar just for recording purposes and I have it set pretty high so you're kind of hearing that preamp and work a little bit but here's my clean sound again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engage the DRV with the drive and the cut all the way up, down. So 
So it starts to break up a little bit, and that's that preamp working. It's very bright because that cut it cuts the top end, and when it's all the way off, it's full brightness. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna move them kind of together and see how they work that way, and then I'm gonna start working them opposite and see how it sounds that way. So now I'm gonna move them both to about nine o'clock. That's typically where I like to keep it. I think it sounds really good there. There or where we're going next, which is noon. Now I'm gonna kind of leave the cut in this area because any much further and it starts losing so much treble and that bass gets so heavy that it, I, I'm not a big fan of the sound. So personally, I'm just gonna kind of leave where it is. But now I'm gonna take the drive all the way up to three o'clock. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to max out the drive. Other than me missing a little bit there. Um, I think it sounds great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn the cut all the way off and leave the drive all the way up and let's see how that sounds. Okay, so now I'm gonna start moving them counter. So currently I have the drive at three o'clock and I have the cut at nine o'clock. All right, so now we've already done the both at noon. So now I'm, I'm gonna do the opposite ends. It's gonna get really dark, but I'm just gonna show you what it sounds like. On this high wide, it actually doesn't sound as dark as I thought it was going to. So let's take the cut all the way up and the drive all the way off. So all that's doing is taming the top end. It actually sounds fairly nice with this high wide amp. Let's see how it sounds with the Princeton in this configuration. So as you can see, there's a lot of different sounds you can get out of this particular pedal. And this is what it sounds like with the HX Stomp and single coils in particular. And I had it seen a lot of videos where it really went through all those different sounds and how to get it set up for the perfect sound. And for me, my perfect sound is this. Okay, so I have my drive at about 10.30, and I have the cut at about 11, and then I have the volume again in between two and three. And this is with the Princeton. With the Vox after I disengage the Minotaur. Marshall. And with the high watt. So, if you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, if you found this useful, if you like my style of reviews, let me know down in the comments, drop a like, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, it would mean the world to me. Um, I love you guys. Don't forget to live that creative life. I'll see you next time. Bye.